Hi, I'm Keith Jarvila at Taft Elementary and I teach sixth grade math. Um, I've had a great chance to uh, pilot a program here which is math facts based but is really so much more than just math facts. Um, the beauty of the program is it adapts to every single student's ability. Whether you struggle or whether you are really fast, it's going to make you even better. It's a constantly changing program that challenges everybody and is going to be allowing all kids to have success in math. Great. Now, so as a teacher, what was one of the biggest benefits that you see from uh, running, having your students run through this program? I, I, my biggest benefit is, I know with Math Facts, I try different things of drill and kill, and this actually is exciting for the kids. The excitement, the sharing, the, the challenges of team building, all of those things make this something that the kids look forward to rather than dreading. Great. And so taking the student's perspective, what was one of the biggest takeaways and benefits that, that you've seen from uh, their behavior? Uh, they're focused in on it and like I said if it was just math facts being repeated it wouldn't I wouldn't really be a fan of it but it's constantly changing once you've mastered something it knows it and it changes the way it presents that information so it keeps getting harder and harder and it also adapts to make it a little bit easier for kids so that everybody's gonna have success so speaking of adaptability um, what has it uh, done for some of your students who are more challenged at math well, just it has an aspect of algebra where the variable is moved around to different sides of the problem. Really allows the kids to, to think about, you know, what a variable is and constantly changing and challenging them. It's not just the same problem over and over again. Great. So, how has the leaderboard um, affected the uh, the class uh, and showing that that something that's very unusual in the classroom? Well, it's all about motivation. The kids set a goal and they see their goal. The, the bars are changing colors. They can actually watch and see their progress, which is exciting. They can compare themselves to other students. As you know, some kids are very highly motivated and want to be the best, and that challenge pushes them even further. And uh, the team goal of making a team goal gets everybody involved. So it has other kids cheering for kids that are struggling a little bit slower, but it pushes everyone to be successful. And how important was it to get to blue? Well, blue is the whole goal. Um, as we had talked before, you don't leave anyone behind. It's, it's not a goal of individual, it's a goal of a classroom. So you set a classroom goal and everybody has to make their goal in order to be successful. So it includes everybody. All right. Thank you very much, Keith. You're welcome. So Thank you. Speaking about uh, volume and engagement. Yeah, I mean, the amount of volume that they do. We're talking 320 problems correct in a 15 minute period. Um, as a math teacher, I can't tell you how many times I've handed out flashcards to kids to cut out, to practice, and they just don't do it. It's not fun. This gets 320 problems correct in just 15 minutes, and they love doing it. And the math facts are the key. All right. It's all about volume, right? It's all about volume. Volume and practice. <laughs> Thanks. You got it. Thanks.